And um, I'm going to talk about older people too, so, um, but not um, necessarily grey. Adults is the focus um, at my table. I'm um, the manager of literacy services at Link Tasmania, um, which is, uh, I think I need to just explain it, um, it's the statewide network of, uh, state of public libraries, the State Library, the Tasmanian Archive and Heritage Office, uh, the Information Service and a Government Record Keeping Service. So we're, a, we're quite a, a, an interesting um, organ of government within the state education department. So learning is very much a focus for us. Um, and we have a very strong role in, in providing opportunities for learning, not just in the normal, uh, informal way uh, that obviously all libraries do, but increasingly in uh, a non-formal um, way to use the OECD definition of learning, which is where we have a structured learning um, on an ongoing basis, but not necessarily accredited. Um, in the Link Tasmania context, we have um, we had over 13,600 adults engaged in active learning programs in this way where they've come through and either enrolled in a course or, or engaged with our literacy support um, service, which is a network throughout the state. We have 72 locations around the state. Um, small state, 500,000 people, but very geographically dispersed for Australia. So this is a really important reach and it's, a, it's the largest reach of any state government organisation. So that gives us a really crucial advantage in reaching out to people. Our literacy coordinators work in a model where they they assess the client's needs and the way they're going to learn best. And what we're focusing on is literacy um, in terms of reading, writing, numeracy skills. Um, and in the, again, the OECD definition is being able to apply those skills and critical thinking to a technologically rich world. So it's very much about engaging in, um, in the digital world. Um, we do a lot of other types of learning, work and life skills, um, some with a specific digital focus basic computing courses, etc. And of course, we've been involved for the, in, in that for many, many years. But increasingly, um, as people are more, at, more connected at home and through their mobile devices, it's, it's less about access and more about actually helping people to engage with those services, and particularly government services online. And that is, brings me to 2610, which is the, the key thing that I'm really here to talk about today. The Adult Literacy Network in Link Tasmania is part of 2610, which is Tasmania's Campaign for Adult Literacy and Numeracy. It stands for the 26 letters of the alphabet and the 10 digits. We call them the tools for life. It always needs to be explained. People love it once we've explained it, but we, <laughs> we need to explain it first up. And it's a campaign and a network that's aimed at getting not just government, certainly not just Link, but the whole of uh, the Tasmanian community, business, um, individuals engaged with the, a collective effort of raising Tasmania's literacy and numeracy levels. And our target is 10% over the next 10 years. This is a campaign which was launched um, in 2012 as part of the Tasmanian Adult Literacy Action Plan. It was initially a five-year plan. But our government has just two weeks ago recommitted to uh, um, a, a new plan out to 2025 with the funding commitment that goes along with that. So it's a big, a big commitment in Tasmania. Why we've done this is that um, around 50% of the Tasmanian population lacks the literacy and numeracy skills they need to engage in the digital world. And that is um, data which initially launched the plan from the Australian Life Skills um, survey, but the, um, the PIAC survey, which was an OECD one, reconfirmed that. And what I want to say about that is we heard this morning already that Australia um, has this problem um, across the whole country. It's actually a developed world problem. The, uh, that, that Australia's 46% having level three is actually uh, above average in the OECD. Um, Tasmania's is a bit worse, but it, we've, this is a problem for everybody, um, which is where we come into um, the, the, the role of all of this in digital literacy. Um, 50 years ago, you could go into a bank and talk to someone over the counter, you could communicate, you could, you could do a lot of things that you didn't have to do online. As soon as we're in an online world, um, no matter how much we want to rely on video, technology and other things, you need a level of reading and writing and numeracy, which is higher than it used to be. And that's the same in the workplace, it's the same in in life. So we've found through 2610 a lot of businesses are working in areas where technological advance means people's, people's roles have really changed and they don't have the skills they need anymore. 
So 2610 is making a really strong contribution to enabling digital citizenship. And I guess, and, and this is through raising skills, through raising awareness, through engaging other parts of the community. We're also doing it through promoting plain language. And we, talk, we heard a bit about that this morning. Um, this is gaining momentum in Tasmania, um, working through the Department of Premier and Cabinet and really starting to ensure that the information we provide to people is, is um, uh, understandable, which of course is not just important for people with low literacy, but for all of us who, uh, who grapple with these things. So, um, and, and what 2610 is doing is really contributing to a sort of collective awareness raising. And I guess one of the things I want to explore on my table is um, this, this is an effort which is um, housed in a library in Tasmania. It's uh, an, a slightly new area for us, but it's one that has a really great fit. It fits with our promotion of learning, it fits with our um, sharing of information, and it's working for us. We're getting the opportunity to, for example, I think because of 2610, um, the Australian Bureau of Statistics has come to us to talk about how we can work with them during the census to, to, to help enable people with low literacy to engage. Those kinds of things that people were suggesting need to be happening this morning can happen through this network. So um, we'll be looking at what um, the role is for libraries in, in um, not only improving people's literacy and numeracy skills and how important those key things are to be able to be digitally literate, but also what role we can play in broader awareness ra raising and enabling of, a, of a, a more collective effort to make all of this happen. Thank you.